Ukraine is fighting with Russia in Africa and Syria. Ukraine is fighting Russia in Africa and Syria. Columnist David Kirichenko writes in his article for The Hill. He recalls that when Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, it expected to celebrate victory in Kiev within weeks. But Ukraine not only fought back on its own battlefields, but also took the fight to Russia to other parts of the world. The front lines of the Russian-Ukrainian war now extend into Africa and the Middle East, where Ukrainian special forces are pursuing Russian forces to undermine Moscow's economic resources and influence, the author notes. He cites a top-secret US intelligence document that Ukrainian military intelligence had previously drawn up plans to attack Russian forces in Syria and covert Kurdish assistance in early 2023. The aim of attacking Russian units in Syria was to potentially force Russia to redirect its military resources from Ukraine to bolster its defenses in Syria. Ukrainian officers considered training Syrian Democratic Forces fighters to strike Russian targets using unmanned aerial vehicles, the article says. The journalist also notes that in Africa, Russia has collaborated with Sudan's military leadership to convert billions of dollars into gold, depriving the country's citizens of significant government revenues to help Russia circumvent Western sanctions. At the same time, in August 2023, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba promised to liberate Africa from Russia's embrace by launching a diplomatic counter-offensive. Meanwhile, until August 2023, Ukraine's military intelligence unit Timor conducted a military campaign to hunt Russian mercenaries in Sudan. Ukraine has the capacity to intervene militarily in areas where Western states may be hesitant to intervene, such as Sudan and southern Syria. The return on investment from Western states on Ukraine's small contribution could be quite significant. The West would be wise to provide Ukraine with more resources, include intelligence, to support its efforts to strike at Russia where necessary, Kirichenko concludes. Пламя метров 500, наверное, и в диаметре наверное, около 100. Жестко. Охуеть. Нас из космоса видно, наверное, тут. Поехали. 